Hello there, Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for your... Ooh. First of all, I feel like Sagittarius, um, you are being very spontaneous in the month of December 2022. Also, if you're currently seeing this reading um, in the month of December, I am having a special $10 off of any reading book via my website. My website is www.myrockcollection2020.com. The promo code is 10, T-E-N, off, O-F-F, -F, 10 off. So back to the reading, December 2022 for Sagittarius. You guys are going to be finally letting out um, that energetic side of you, the side of you that is more spontaneous. I truly feel like you guys are really, really, really in your Sagittarius energy. And I mean, of course you are because it is Sagittarius season. You guys are not going to be playing anything by the book this month. You guys are Sagittarius, December 20, 2022. You guys are literally going out with a bang, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> yes, you guys are going to be having a good time. I feel like um, December, is it will have its ups and downs, but there's going to be a lot of fun times that are like, okay, well, you know what? Things aren't so bad or things aren't as bad as they can be. I see that you guys will be trying to make the best of um, any situation that may arise. Also, you guys are going to be laying a lot of things to rest that have been worrying you. So whether these things are... Um, but then you, you guys are also just going to have a break. Like you finally get a break from the worry. You finally get a break from the struggle and the stress. Yeah. You, it also, it's like Miss Independent. Why is it... It's, I feel like your your independence may overpower you. And I you this you can be a man or a woman watching it, but it's just like you have to allow others to help you, you have to allow others to support and to you. There's a lot of ways about yourself that you guys have laid to rest. Um and one of those things is like being a party goer or being someone who's just really like out on the scene. I feel like in December you guys will be more out on the scene. Um but you may be out I it, I feel like this could be like dates or meeting people. It's just like it reminds me of a movie where someone goes through this whole fucking mental breakdown and then they're like, you know what? Let's just go out and have a night on the town. And then, you know, the night is just so fun and so wild and so unexpected. I don't see you guys getting into any commitments. You guys don't, you guys don't want to be attached to anything. Um, yeah, no attachments at all. Zero attachments. If you are looking to get into a relationship, I don't see that happening in December. Although it could possibly happen, but I don't see you guys wanting to settle down. You guys feel like relationships are a burden. And right now you are trying to eliminate or um, relieve the stress versus adding to it. Focusing on your own happiness and focusing on what is best for you. I feel like you guys do have options in multiple things, but I honestly feel like, um, like, it's like a world, what's a whirlwind romance? That's what I just heard. But I honestly feel like it's just being very spontaneous and just, you know, not really going with um, the crowd. It's, it's going in a completely different direction and just finally being who you are and not, it's like literally like not doing things by the book, um, being a rule breaker, being someone rebellious. You guys feel a rebellious energy. Although you do have someone you may be interested in, I don't feel like the commitment is happening. Yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of back and forth. Uh, should I be single? Should I should I stay single? Am I actually ready for a commitment? Um, because there is someone who wants commitment with you. They could be moving a little slower than you hope. But also, there's like a period of <sighs> I like sleeping good at night, basically, without worrying about if somebody cheating on me, or you know, without worrying about why this person hasn't responded or or replied to me. Ultimately, I do see um, relationships and there's lots of um, stable and grounding energy here. But then there's also lots of like fight or flight energy. I feel like you guys, it's almost like wanting something and then getting it and then being afraid of it. Like, yeah, I want a cat, but I'm afraid of cats. But you get a cat anyway and now you're afraid of the cat. Things may not, the person, the person that you want may not be the person that you end up with. I, I have to stress that, um, which is probably why this union isn't happening in December. Um, but the person that you have your eyes or sight set on, this person, number one, deals with other people and they are a heartbreaker. They are a known heartbreaker, but so are you. And so it's really like you've met your match.
You know, I see December as being a fun month. It also comes with, um, I hate to say it, but a little heartbreak. But only because it's like you come to a realization of, yeah, I thought that I like this person. Or, you know, I thought that I wanted this, but I truly don't. I'm not ready for this commitment or I'm not ready for um, whatever it may be. Now, will you still deal with this person? I don't think so because you meet someone new, you deal with someone else. This could be an energy that has already begun, but I don't think so. I think it's someone completely new, a whole new option because you find out someone just isn't who they said they were. And that helps you in your decision of, you know, not wanting to be committed to that person. You do eventually, though, meet someone that is, um, there's an age gap. You meet someone that is a very honest person. They're true to themselves. They're very straightforward about what they want. And that also is going to scare you because you want to be a free bird this, this uh, December. But, I mean, just in general, it's, it's like, I don't want to be tied down. And so, I don't know. What do you do? Make your next move your best move. <laughs> yeah, because if you make zero decisions and you just, you know, say like, oh, I'm just going to let fate happen or I'm just going to let whatever happen, you'll be stressed and worried and it'll just be like, oh, my God, I can't get this person off of my mind. So, yeah, if there's a situation that's causing you stress um, in this manner where it's just like it's really causing you to be stagnant, keeping you stuck, and it is just like not really good for you, um, it doesn't make you feel good, it doesn't make you... It's just not it, right? It can also bring out your dark side. Like, it makes you irritated, frustrated, snappy, whatever it may be. Um, spending time with your friends is highly recommended. That is how you're going to really get through the month. And so, um, that going out and having fun can be with friends. It can be with... I feel like it's just like having different dating options as well. Anyway, that is what I have for Sagittarius for the month of December 2022. Although this reading is timeless, so whenever you see this, um, just it's the, the following month, the month that we are going into next. That is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.